Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you 10 websites that can earn you real passive income every single month. If you guys don't already know, one of the best ways to acquire wealth is to find a way to make money while you're not technically working. The 10 websites that I'll be going over are great ways to make you a decent amount of money. So make sure to watch this entire video so you don't miss out on any of these new opportunities. All right, so number 10 on the list is a website called Honeygain. Honeygain is a site that actually pays you for sharing your internet connection. So before you guys worry about how this website may end up stealing your information, I've done the research and it is safe. What Honeygain does is it allows users to share their internet connection for the benefit of sharing their content delivery. In other words, various regions of the world have certain content blocked off and a lot of content is accessible only in certain regions. For example, what you see on Netflix in the United States is not the same as what you're going to see in Australia or any other country for that matter. And this is where Honeygain comes in. This website basically allows you to access the internet through your geolocation, allowing them to experience the same content that you're allowed to see. The way these businesses benefit is through being able to see content from all over the world, effectively giving them an uncensored view of the internet. Another reason that this benefits businesses is it allows them to fully protect their brand and shut down illegal copyright of products from anywhere in the world. It also allows businesses to compare prices and make sure that their content is consistently delivered worldwide. So yeah, the amount of money that you can get paid every month will vary based on how much daily traffic you share, which can be anywhere from two gigabytes to 200 gigabytes, as well as the number of daily content delivery hours, which can literally be anywhere from zero hours to 24 hours a day. Just to give you guys an idea of how much you can make, if you set it to sharing five gigabytes per day and four hours of daily content delivery, you could make around $46 per month. So obviously this isn't going to be a way to get really rich by any means, but every dollar adds up once you start getting multiple passive income revenue streams coming in. Also keep in mind that the more IP addresses you're willing to share with Honeygain, the more money you're going to make. So yeah, if you just max everything out on the content sharing settings, it says that you can make up to $184 Per month. Number nine on the list is going to be a photo and video marketplace called Snapwire. Now this is going to be an online marketplace mostly for skilled videographers and photographers. And this is just due to how the site is kind of set up. So the way the site works is it's basically a platform for content creators to put their work up for sale on a profile page, as well as compete for challenges or requests made by Snapwire themselves or businesses looking for a specific image or video. The cool thing about Snapwire is that they give their sellers 100% commissions for winning challenges or requests. If you sell on the marketplace, however, the site will take a 50% commission as a referral fee for one of their users purchasing from you. So if your photos sold for, let's say $50, you'd take home $25 of profit. And of course, the better the photos you take, the more you can charge. But the average price per request seems to range anywhere from $25 to $125. Lastly, Snapwire has two payout options in PayPal and Stripe. You just need to have a minimum of $25 in your account to make a withdrawal. Overall, a pretty cool way for you to passively sell your photos and videos. All right, so number eight is going to be Rakuten. Rakuten is a site that requires you to spend money to make money. However, if you are someone who frequently spends money at the stores offered on their site, you could potentially start earning yourself a ton of cash back. To this day, I've made over $2,000 of cash back just using Rakuten. In addition to offering high amounts of cash back on tons of stores, Rakuten has an amazing referral program that pays affiliates and new users $30 each when the new user signs up through the referral link and makes a minimum purchase of $30 in the first 90 days. And just to give you guys an idea of what kind of stores they have on their site at the moment, they're offering 4% cash back for shopping online at Macy's, 1% cash back for shopping on eBay, 9% with Ulta, 8% with Sam's Club, 6% with Forever 21, and more. Rakuten doesn't only offer discounts online, however. They also offer in-store cash back as well as cash back on certain travel or vacation purchases. So if you guys are frequently traveling, then purchasing your tickets or travel accommodations through Rakuten could start earning you a ton of cash back. When you're ready to withdraw your cash back and your referral bonuses from Rakuten, you have the option of receiving a payment through a mail check or through PayPal. So what you guys can do to actually make money without spending money on Rakuten is like I said earlier, just by referring your friends and family. You guys can post your affiliate link on your social media bios and let your followers know to sign up through your link, which could work really well if you already have a decent following. Or you guys can actually create a niche website and refer your audience to sign up and shop through Rakuten to save themselves some money. Win-win for both you as well as the audience. Number seven on the list is Etsy. So Etsy is another website that allows you to share your products online for others to see and hopefully purchase. The American e-commerce company mostly focuses on handmade items vintage items and craft supplies. So these can be things like handmade jewelry, such as bracelets, earrings, rings, and more. It can also be home decor or furniture, artwork, clothing, toys, and yeah, basically anything you can handcraft 
or call vintage can be listed on this online marketplace. However, what I would actually recommend doing is selling digital downloads. This means that every time you make a sale, you just simply email them the PDF or whatever it is. This is super passive. It means that you don't have any overhead costs and essentially the profit is 100%. So the way that Etsy works is sellers create a profile where they can list their items for sale for a maximum of four months. And Etsy charges sellers 20 cents for every item they list on the website. The benefit of listing your items on the site is that Etsy actually pays to advertise your products across the internet through something called offsite ads. However, when your product does sell through one of these ads, Etsy will charge you a 15% commission on the sale. For normal transactions that are done through the site, Etsy is gonna take a 6.5% transaction fee in addition to a 3% plus 25 cent payment processing fee. So a $100 sale would end up netting you $90.25. The other nice thing about Etsy is that they don't charge a monthly membership fee to sell on their site. They also offer secure transactions, automatic deposits, and seller protection is guaranteed. At the end of each month, Etsy sends sellers a bill of the fees that they build up throughout the month, and they have until the 15th of the following month to pay it. With Etsy, sellers can receive payments from buyers through credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, and more. Overall, a great way for you to sell your items as well as digital downloads on a platform that gets a lot of eyeballs. All right, so number six on the list is a company called Substack. Substack is a website that gives writers and podcasters a way to get paid for their work through a subscription-based model instead of through ad revenue. Now, this is especially great for content creators who already have an audience that is somewhat loyal and want to start making money for the work that they do. This is where Substack comes in. With Substack, writers and podcasters can actually transfer their audience and content over from other platforms such as WordPress, Review, Medium, Tumblr, MailChimp, and more. The nice thing about this platform that I really like is that they make time consuming things like sending emails, collecting payments, and transporting and backing up content extremely easy, which allows their users to spend less time setting things up and more time focusing on creating quality content for the subscribers. By switching over to Substack, you'll still be the sole owner of your content and your audience. Now, one great thing is that Substack comes at no cost to its content creators, and they allow them to keep 90% of the overall profits made from the subscribers. The 10% commission that they take goes towards operating costs such as customer service and development. And if you're not making any money from your audience on Substack, the platform is completely free for you to use. Lastly, Substack comes with its own unique audience so that you'll be exposing your blog to millions of new readers and potential paid customers. As of right now, Substack has more than 500,000 paying subscribers and they've raised more than $82.4 million since launching in October of 2017. Now to make this passive income, you're going to need to start posting evergreen content or content that will be relevant for at least one year. Some examples of this could be how-to guides, exclusive interviews, top 10 lists, travel guides, and more. By doing this, the idea is that you can spend a decent amount of time producing this content and then you can sit back and let the views and subscriptions roll in on a steady basis for a decent amount of time. This is often the type of content that I like to post on my own YouTube channel and I can assure you that posting evergreen content is the way you want to go. So yeah, if you could pump out anywhere from five to ten pieces of evergreen content a month, you could soon find yourself earning a ton of passive income. All right, number five on the list is Webull. Webull is a stock investing platform that offers investors a great way to earn passive income long term. And this is through investing in publicly traded companies, especially ones that offer dividends. Right now, Webull is actually giving you guys up to 12 free stocks for signing up. So I'll leave that in the description down below. And yeah, right now, now, in my opinion, is one of the best times to begin investing in the stock market because all stocks are basically on a discount at the moment. Just take a look at how much Meta has dropped in the last five months. It went from being priced at $323 on February 2nd of this year to now being priced at about $160 as of July 29. Eventually, the market is going to recover, and when it does, you're going to be wishing you invested at the dip. In addition to that, you can buy dividend stocks that pay you out monthly or quarterly. These are stocks that pay shareholders a part of their profit and there are tons of stocks that offer two, three, four, five, or even more percent uh, per year in dividend payments. So super passive, you just hold the stock and they automatically pay you those dividends. Overall, I think investing in stocks is a great way to make some passive income, especially for the long term, because you'll get those dividend payments from those certain stocks, as well as make money from the appreciation of your stocks. Historically, this has been very proven and that's why I encourage you guys all to get those free stocks and begin investing in stocks today. All right, so number four on the list is a company called Society. Society6. So similar to Merch by Amazon, Society6 is a made-to-order platform that allows you to sell your artwork or designs with little to no overhead costs. The difference between this site and Merch by Amazon is that they take your artwork and allow you to put it on essentially anything, whether it's t-shirts, tables, rugs, phone cases, 
home decor, wall art, bags. The possibilities are basically endless with this platform. The way Society6 operates is they pay artists a 10% commission per sale. However, for art prints, frame prints, or canvas prints, artists can set their own prices above the standard 10%. Artists will be credited 30 days after the shipment of the order, and they are paid through PayPal on the first business day of every month. Now to start selling on Society6, all you need to do is create an account, start uploading your product designs, choose a variety of products to place your artwork on, and then start selling. From this point, Society6 basically takes care of order fulfillment, printing, and shipping. So all you have to do is wait for your sales to start coming in. One easy way that I found to make money through this site is by searching what people are saving on websites like Pinterest and modeling any designs after the most popular ones I find. This can be applied to anything, whether it be furniture, clothing, phone cases, artwork, the list goes on. For example, you could search something like cool phone cases, and when the search results pop up, look for cases that have a bunch of saves on them, because chances are those are the ones that people are going to purchase and be searching for. From here, you can either make your designs yourself or hire someone on Upwork or Fiverr to take care of that step for you. So yeah, if you come up with, let's say, five to 10 cool designs through using this method, and each one can generate 50 to $100 per month, you could be looking at a solid new side hustle that took little to no money to get started. Number three is Merch by Amazon. Merch by Amazon is a great way for someone with a following to capitalize on their audience through selling product merch. It can also be great for creating brand awareness for your business and getting your logo or company name out into the world. Amazon allows you to design the merch and name the price, and they take care of the production, selling, and shipping of the items at no out-of-pocket cost to you. The way to get started with Merch by Amazon is going to be through requesting an invitation. Once you're accepted, the next step is to create your product and the artwork and upload it to the platform for them to start producing the merch. From there, all you have to do is set the listing price, which should be both affordable and competitive with your competition, and then wait for your sales to actually come in. Once the product is in motion, you can either let your fans know to go and buy your merch through your social media accounts, advertise it through your website or YouTube channel, or if you're a business owner, you can purchase some merch and put it up for sale in your office or store. When your product sells, Amazon will pay you a royalty after subtracting taxes and the cost of production and shipping. To give you an example of how much you can make per sale, Amazon provides a chart to show how much you can take home based off the purchase price. So for a standard t-shirt price at $15.99, you'll likely net a royalty of $2.21. And on the higher end, if you price your shirt at $25.99, you'll likely take home a net royalty of $9.77. The nice thing about Merch on Demand by Amazon is you don't have to worry about overhead costs and holding inventory since this is all taken care of by them. You really don't even have to worry about making any sales because as the name states, these products are made on demand as soon as a purchase has been made. So yeah, this can be a great way for anyone to sell merch for their business without having to really deal with any hassles or take away from their daily work schedule. Through Amazon's audience, you'll also be reaching millions of customers worldwide, which only increases your chances of making a sale. Okay, number two on the list is Neighbor. Neighbor is a website that pays you for renting out your unused space. The way Neighbor works is you essentially make a listing for the space you want to rent out, which can be things like your garage, driveways, parking lots, basements, bedrooms, shipping containers, attics, warehouses, and yeah, I think you get the point. The nice thing about Neighbor that makes them different from other rental websites is they allow you to list either a portion of your space or the entire space, and it's also free to list. However, they do collect a 4.9% plus 30 cent processing fee for their services when you make a sale. So if you rent out a space for $100 a month, you're going to net $94.80 after the fees are paid. To get started with Neighbor, all you have to do is create an account, List your space, respond to renter requests to discuss the items they will store and for how long, and then schedule a move-in date for the renter and yourself to meet and get the items stored. Since you can list any type of space, prices can vary. So I recommend you guys to do a search in your area to see what other people are charging for similar spaces and base your price off of that. Neighbor offers a million dollars in host liability protection, allows you to be selective as to who, what, and when things are stored, and payments are automatically deposited into your bank account each month. Financial companies such as Bloomberg, Business Insider, and The Penny Hoarder have all taken interest in this new website, and they've even appeared on the Forbes 30 under 30 list in 2021. All right, number one on the list of passive income websites is ClickBank. ClickBank is a website that allows you to sell digital and physical products or services. The way ClickBank works is seller's products products are promoted by affiliate marketers for an agreed commission that can literally range from 5 to 75% per sale. And with the potential for receiving extremely high commissions for affiliate marketers, this could be worth it in itself as a side hustle too. So yeah, ClickBank works for both sellers as well as affiliate marketers. They basically handle things like creating affiliate tracking links, 
payments to affiliates, and tax documentation, which makes it super easy for you as the seller to continue developing new products to sell. Like some of the previous side hustles I already mentioned, ClickBank helps reduce overhead costs for sellers, which is always enticing and allows them to create their own affiliate program with very little work required. To get started, you must first sign up with them, come up with a product to sell, and then submit it to the website for approval. Once approved, you can post the product on the marketplace, wait for affiliates to start sending traffic to your product page, and watch your sales start coming in. The site also offers fraud protection and product tracking, which allows you to see things like product clicks, purchases, and merchant processing. ClickBank charges sellers a one-time fee of $49.95 after the first product approval to ensure the product follows your marketing guideline. On top of that one-time fee, ClickBank also charges a flat rate of 7.5% plus $1 per sale. So if you sold a course for $100, let's say, you take home a net of $91.50 minus the one-time affiliate commission you pay out. Now, like I said earlier, you don't need to be a seller to make money on ClickBank. You can instead act as an affiliate, meaning you promote other people's products for a commission. That way you can begin making money immediately without having any product to sell. You just need to promote the links via social media, your blog, YouTube, whatever other channel it is, and you can start making money on each sale that you refer. Affiliate marketing is a huge way that I currently make money. And it really is so passive after you set up your systems and have a healthy flow of web traffic. And yeah, ClickBank is one of the best platforms along with ShareSale, Impact Radius, and Commission Junction. If you guys wanna get into affiliate marketing, I encourage you guys to check out any of those platforms. So yeah, guys, I hope this list of top 10 web websites to make passive income helps you start earning some extra money and moves you closer to your goal of reaching financial freedom. All the websites I just talked about are great ways to start earning some passive income. And yeah, I hope this video sort of inspired you guys to go out there and start making money in non-traditional ways. This is something I've been doing ever since I graduated college and it's been the best thing that I have ever done. That's really why I'm so passionate about making these types of videos because my whole goal is to encourage you guys to make money in non-traditional ways by working for yourself. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. I make 10 videos about personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.